Hey, what's going on everybody? Dustin here and City. Yes, City just released a new card and they're really looking to try to take on the popular Freedom Flex and the Discover card. So let's take a look at this card and see if this card's a good fit for your wallet and what does this mean for the City ecosystem? Now City's been really a tough program to crack. One minute they want to play with the big boys, then the next minute they decide they want to grab their Capri Sun, a fruit by the foot, and just sit on the sidelines. But the new City Custom Cash credit card has some things going for it that I think will be very beneficial, but it also has some City flair to it as well. Now while this card does mention earning cash back, City does make it known that you're actually going to earn thank you points, which then you can redeem for cash back. Now this is actually pretty important because since it earns thank you points, this means you should have no issues moving these points to a card like the City Premier or the City Prestige to use one of their transfer partners. Now there is a restriction on the bonus, but that's only if you've had the custom cash card in the last 48 months. So this does not exclude you or eliminate you from getting a bonus on a thank you point earning card like the Premier or the Prestige. And right out of the gate, you're going to earn yourself a $200 or 20,000 point bonus when you spend $750 on this card in the first three months. This is actually a very easy and low spend hit for that bonus. And it's about a 27% return on your spend, which is actually very solid. Now the earning rate on this card is where it gets interesting because this is another 5% earning card. And there's a lot of these out there on the market right now but it's not a rotating card like the Discover card or the Freedom Flex because you're gonna earn 5% or five points per dollar back on your top spending category each billing cycle. And the categories include restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, select travel, select transit, streaming services, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, and live entertainment. And for select travel, this does include airlines, hotels, cruise lines, and OTAs. Then for select transit, it's going to include car rentals, ferries, railways, subways, taxis and car services, tolls, parking garages, bus tickets, motor home rentals as well. Now earning five points per dollar or 5% back, it's great, but this is going to be limited to $500 per billing cycle. And after you reach that $500 spend, the earning rate is gonna to drop to 1%. Now I think before people get too up in arms about this limit, this is very similar to what we see from Discover and the Chase Freedom cards, except they give you $1,500 per quarter, which actually averages out to $500 per month. So I do view this as a wash. But what I really like about this card is the fact you don't have to activate anything and the categories don't rotate. The top spending category you have earns five points per dollar and you can use the same category month after month. So if you're someone who dines out to the tune of $500 or less per month, you're gonna earn 5% back for that spend. Or maybe you don't spend $500 per month on groceries and you can earn 5% back on your groceries year round. And the fact that you can get 5% back on some of these categories is great. And it's even better that you get these earning rates with no annual fee since this card doesn't have one. It does have a 3% foreign transaction fee, so this is pretty much gonna be good for domestic use and not for international use. And that really means that this could be a better card than a card like the Altitude Go for domestic dining or the Blue Cash Preferred for groceries or maybe even the card you're currently using for gas. Now City does say you can only have one of these cards per customer, which I completely understand why they would have this limit there, but we will need to see if this is actually enforced. Then outside of that 5% earning rate on your top spending category, all other purchases are gonna be 1% back. So really you would wanna pick the category you would like to earn 5X with and only use it for that particular category. But I love the practical categories offer to earn 5% back on and how you don't need to activate anything or worry about the categories rotating. Now this card is called the custom cash card and you can redeem the points you earn in this card as a statement credit, direct deposit to your bank account, or even a paper check. So basically cash back. But then you also have a few other options like gift cards or even Amazon. And on its own, the redemption options are a bit more limited but that's very similar to what we see with cards like the Chase Freedom Flex, for example. But if you have a card like the Premier or the Prestige that also earns thank you points, then you should have no issue moving your points from the custom cash card to one of those cards and utilizing their great transfer partners. 
because city transfer partners are actually very good. They just require more work to learn how to use them. And I personally think city's airline transfer partners are better than that of Chase transfer partners. So having this ability makes this card even more powerful because name another card that earns 5x back on your choice of grocery, dining, or gas year round that then you can use those points for transfer partners. Because if you valued city thank you points at one and a half cent per point, this would give you a return of about seven and a half percent, which is great. And to take that one step further, the City Reward Plus card offers 10% back on redemptions. And we've seen this benefit be used with other City cards as long as you hold the Reward Plus. So with that in mind, that means we could really see the Custom Cash card offer effectively 5.5 points per dollar for those categories, which would make this card even better. Because at that 1.5 cent per point value, that would mean you're actually earning 8.25% return. And this just overall increases the value of the city ecosystem, which was lacking a card like this. Then as for the extra benefits on this card, there really aren't any extra benefits, which isn't too surprising since City has pretty much removed a lot of useful benefits across all of their cards. But since this is a no fee card, I wouldn't expect oversized value from benefits here to begin with. Now, I think City actually has a winner on their hand with this card. The 5x categories that people could choose to earn their rates on actually hit useful and practical categories. And sure, while it is limited to just one category earning 5 points per dollar back, it has no fee and earning 5% back with no fee is always great. Plus you don't have to worry about activating anything. The $500 limit is going to be limiting for some people, but this is really no different based on a monthly average than the other 5% rotating categories out on the market. But if you're someone who spends more than $500 per month on these categories, then it could potentially be an inconvenience for you to manage this card on a monthly basis compared to a quarterly basis. This is just something you'll have to decide if it's worth juggling or not. But if you're someone with a smaller spend per month on some of these categories, this will definitely boost your reward earning. And the custom cash card most definitely improves the city ecosystem if you're someone who looks to earn city thank you points. And even if you're just a cash back fan, this is still a very solid card. And this card actually competes with American Express as one of the best cash back grocery credit cards over the blue cash preferred. And Chase, they don't even have a grocery card that you can earn 5% back on year round. So they can't even be included in that conversation. But having the flexibility to choose the category you want to earn 5x or 5% back on is something I always applaud because it gives customers the option to have a card that works best for them and their lifestyle. So with that said, I think this card is a solid card for your wallet if you're a cash back earner or someone who's into the city ecosystem. So let me know, what do you think about the City Custom Cash Card? Now, if you wanna know about the best cashback credit cards on the market right now, then be sure to check out this video right here where I tell you exactly that. And if you know someone that would find this video useful and helpful, consider sharing with them, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.